guys, Gold Eagle 6500, back with part two on how to solve the Rubik's Cube. Today we'll be doing the first two layers. We're doing the second layer. I taught you the first layer of the first episode. So, mix this up and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back now. And so here's our mix up. Um, This might look a little weird. This is the orange side. Green. Red, blue, yellow, and white. We're not focusing on the yellow. It's going to be in part three. We're going to be focusing on this layer. So, we don't have to be moving this. So, let's make sure this stays. First, we're going to find an edge piece. Not a corner. An edge that doesn't have a yellow. Like this one. This is a red-blue. So, we're going to move it over till the red goes towards formal middle. So, you have this line here. And you have it like this. So it's supposed to look like this. This is the matter. This is just there. This can be like this. That, your Rubik's Cube not supposed to do that. But this is just, this is the cube's works. Anyway, this has to go in this little slot here, right? So if your destination is on the left, you do move this like that. Move the side up. Bring this back. Bring this down. Then bring this like this. You can move the side up. And then you can bring the side in. Like that. So for destination is okay, let's, let's find something else where the destination's on the left. One second, I was gonna be doing a few moves. It doesn't matter you want to see this. Um looking for something where the destination's on the left. Again, just to show you. All right, again, destination to the left. To do this. If your destination is on the right, you're basically just mirroring that. See? So let me tell you the like the basis behind this algorithm. So you're moving this away, because if you move it this way, when you are putting it in here, it's just gonna move it somewhere back here. So move it away so that this nothing happens to this piece. And you're basically bringing this up, because you wanted to get into here, right? So, so this has to connect to here to make this. So when you're moving this back, and you bring it, and when you're moving it back and you bring it down, you are making a pair, which is part of something that I will be teaching called F2L. You're going to making something called a pair. And then you're basically just inserting it back in. If you really want to go behind this, let's see, uh, we finished the layer. Let me just get a piece out. If you really want to practice this when you're doing it, at this point, you can really just do that like you would when you're putting in the piece and you're putting in that layer second layer there so this is the second layer let me just do I'll mix this layer up again and we'll do it again I'll show you an instance that we have where um, I'm making an instance if you have something that looks like this or you see this piece needs to be flipped around. So say, but if this was like maybe over here, whatever piece that we move into here will take this out. But since this is here, what's gonna take it out? You have to do is find a yellow, uh, one that has a yellow on it, and just do your algorithm to when you would put a piece in, and you just took it out, and then you can you just took the piece out, and then you can just continue on your way. So let me just do a little recap, remember, the chain is the right, left, up, back, down, to the right, bring the side up, bring this back, and you're connecting it down. The chain is on the left, right, up, back, down, here, bring this back up, and then you're bringing it in. Let me show you something that I do when I'm doing that sometimes. Sometimes when doing it, since it's a little up more, I just, I don't move it to bring this up. I just bring the side up like that, and then I do that, and I hope for the best that I did it right. 
If you memorize the second layer fast enough, you can do it without looking. You can't see right now, but I'm about to not look. And I was still, I'm sorry if you can't see that, I was still able to do it. So, I can't really tell you any more until we get to the third layer in another video. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And so let me just solve the cube. I actually learned a new way to solve it recently. So I'm solving with that, and that can be quite faster. So yeah, let me just solve it, and then I'll say bye. Um. Ah. Okay, we have this. Um, it's not the way I'm teaching you guys when I do the third layer. This is just another way that I learned. Um, so I'm going to teach you a little more beginner's way. This is just want to do it really quickly for more advanced people. You see that? It didn't really take long. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And it a little harder because I had to like, you know. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. And of course...